Welcome to Good Mythical More. Let's analyze Disney Dad's hotness because somebody needs to. First, we got a random disturbing fact. The FDA allows up to one rat hair in every 100 grams of peanut butter before it's considered defective. You're not gonna ruin peanut butter for me. That would have already happened. So bring on the rat hair. I don't mind, I don't mind hair in general. And you know, rats are just squirrels without hair on their tails. No problem there. Hmm. Uh, which Disney dad is hotter? And we're gonna get this down to the hottest Disney dad on the planet. All right, uh, so we'll eliminate ones. Right now, we've got Zeus versus King Triton. I'll just go ahead and say right up front that Zeus is a lot hotter than King Triton. I mean, King Triton has like some saggy pecs. He's yeah. got like some very, very like tight pecs. He's yeah. got a tan, he's got a well-groomed beard. And it's, I mean, everything I mean, about this guy is hotter than Isn't that guy. he under the water? Like, anything sagging should be floating a little more under the water. You would think so. You can, yeah, that guy gets out of the water on the beach, forget about it. Oh, yeah. His beard is, is covering up his saggy sag. Now, I know that this guy's Great. from Little Mermaid, but I don't, who's Zeus from? Hercules. 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 He's from the Hercules movie. I missed that one. I think uh, I've missed most of, most of these. I don't. Even, I don't think I've seen The Little Mermaid. You've got children. I've seen parts of it, but like, I mean, that's one I paid attention to. I enjoyed that one. Maybe I've, I've seen. I that. missed Hercules. Okay, but okay. Pixar's Fair Game. We got Dad from Inside Out. So this is the one about the feelings, right? That's a. It's a. It's an incredible movie. That was a good movie. You've seen this one. Yeah, I've seen you seen You watch Pixar. I saw it once, yeah, I saw it in the theater. He's don't, not hot. I don't remember the dad. Well, I don't, I don't you know, think he's hot. He's got the scruff, um, he's, got the, he's got the stash. I think he kind of looks like a dork. Well, he's, you know, he's in business mode right now. And I can't remember what he does. What does he do? He's just dads. <laughs> Kaylin, well, like, are, you, are you our Disney help here? Because I know that yeah, you yeah. Said there's like cards on the back with information. I don't want to read a card. Just tell me what but what he does. You'd be very surprised. He has like so many fans, especially on Twitter. Like a lot of people are like majorly simp over the dad from Inside Out. Um, I mean, why, he's... why though? He pushes her into <laughs> but, a depression. I mean, low key. <laughs> yeah, that is kind of high. Dominic he's hardworking, but a live, little oblivious. Yeah. Is, is this he just a really bad? Is this just a bad angle of him? So you think he obliviously pushes his daughter into a depression. Well, because they. But move, he's got scruff. You know? <laughs> I mean, I'm seeing yeah. some hair similarities here. I'm just gonna say it. Yeah, it's kind of like you kind of fit into the same sort of category, Link. Oh, we're just going off physicality here. I'm saying that there are other dimensions to what makes a man hot. Oh, true, true. I mean, he's a good dad. It's just he wasn't paying a close enough attention when his when his daughter was uh, hmm. a little sad. Like he never thing. watched The Little Mermaid with her and stuff. Yeah, definitely. She she learned to like the things that I like, <laughs> and then there's plenty to watch. I mean, I don't know. I just feel like Zeus has got this one on lock. I just don't feel like Inside yeah. Out Dad is. I'm getting like, depressed. He's not doing anything for me. <laughs> All right, who else we got? Here? Okay, now it gets confusing. <laughs> so Goofy, Goofy's a dad. Is there a, a Goofy Jr.? What is there? His name is Max. Max? This is a great movie. You guys Father need of... to. <laughs> All right, I, okay, I'll read it. Max. <laughs> Father. Well, my did gosh. you know Goofy had a son? I didn't. I didn't know Goofy had a wiener. <laughs> Let's go back there. Well, you know what? Goofy, I mean, unlike I mean, Pluto, does wear pants probably because he's got a big functional wiener. Here, here's the thing about Goofy. Let's just though. say a functional. Who's wiener. Who's the mom? Father of Max, know. Goof. I mean, he's he a dog. I kind of don't know a Goofy partners. movie. Goofy's personality fully lives up to his name individually and as a father. But since Max is a teenager and wants to be cool, he wants to do whatever he can to separate himself from his dad's goofy image. Despite this, Goofy remains supportive throughout. He and Max reach a new level of love and understanding for one another. Overall, very wholesome. But we don't know who the mom is. Maybe it was just a surrogate. Maybe he just wanted to be a Maybe it was dad. in vitro. Did he deliver? We don't know how, again, he wears pants. We don't know exactly how it works. So. Read about Zeus. Now we gotta get into like the backstory of Zeus. Father of Hercules and practically every other Greek god, goddess and demigod. Okay. Ruler of Olympus. Let Hercules get kidnapped. 
turned almost completely human and stayed absent for a long time. Jovial, but stubborn. I can, sort of like that detached thing. I think that's hot. Barrel yeah, chested like, detachment. That sort of uninvolved father thing. But here's the thing. Okay, like he's super powerful, right? Like a literal ruler of a kingdom in the clouds. Let his newborn baby get kidnapped by some low level demons. Hello. Yeah. Like, come on. Yeah. He's fronting. You don't, he's think, fronting. You don't think that's hot? I mean, Goofy, though, what, what, what does Goofy got except just some wholesome. <laughs> he's fun loving. Father son love. He's fun loving there for his son. He's a single father. That's hot. He's always wearing white gloves, though. I'm I'm so over this guy. You want to kick Zeus to the curb just so Goofy can have his moment in the sun? Okay. Okay. Goofy's hotter than Zeus. <laughs> no, he's not. All right, fine. Let's go back. Oh, Chief Chewy. Tui, Tui. So this is uh, Chief Chewy from that rock movie. Now, right? did Moana? Now, did I did see Moana? Didn't he die? Spoiler. Or is the grandma who died and became the ocean or something? Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah, she I don't think the ocean. Dad dies. That's why I don't swim anymore. Okay. Because I don't want to swim in grandma. <laughs> this is a great movie, also. Good movie. Yeah. And you know what? One of the great things about following The Rock on social media, which I do enthusiastically, yeah. is occasionally he'll just up and sing his special Moana song like on his social media, like with his daughter. Ha! Huh. I mean, it is, you got it, you can't get enough of that. Once you've seen that. How old is his daughter? Like little? Little. Huh. Chief to... Like to super, eat. like the cutest little girl you've ever seen. Father of Moana, chief of Polynesian island, Matanui. Originally of very Matanui. adventurous spirit, developed aquaphobia after losing a loved one out at sea on mm. an adventure and forbade the village from voyaging. That's not oh, sexy at all. So fear, he's a helicopter. Fear is not sexy. Helicopter dad. This conflicts with yes, Moana's love for the ocean. Overall, well respected and caring, but can be headstrong when it comes to loved ones. I mean, anybody who's going to try to make you scared of the ocean, even if it is grandma, that's not hot. I mean, so now you're arguing for Goofy because I, I mean, look at you those put tats. Me in though. an awkward position. Those tats are the same position nice. that Goofy is in on his card. <laughs> an awkward one. I think that you've got it's a. He's got the big chest, the he's got the big belly, and then he's got, I think this is like a slimming design here. I do like what that does for his love handles, though. That's I might hot. get that tattoo. Yeah, it just kind of turns him into uh, something awesome. What is that on the belly button? That's some sort of What a, is there on the belly button? Oh, it's another, another tat. tattoo. Yeah, I love it. I think that's hot, man. He got his whole left pectoral muscle is tattooed. But he's scared of the ocean. He's hot, man. I mean, he lives on an island. You're, you're really limited in what you can do on the ocean. On the land is where the man can really work his magic. <laughs> That's... Okay. He's Chief hot, man. Too easy. We didn't want to let, you shamed me out of Goofy last round. Let's get him out of here. Just, just, so, just so you understand. Roger, 101 this, Dalmatians. This guy has been kicked out of this. And now we're on to Roger versus Chief Tui. Who is this? Oh, that's a, that's the original 101 Dalmatian. Dog dad to Pogo and eventually 101 total Dalmatians. Originally a bachelor songwriter married to his work until his dog Pogo tricks, Pongo tricks him into going on a walk to meet a, a lady Dalmatian, Perdita, Perdida, Perduda, and her owner Anita, Perdita and Anita. I haven't seen this. Fast forward, Roger and Anita get married and Pongo and Perdita have several puppies. Woo! Ooh, it gets, boy, it's like, it gets hot and heavy, huh? Several puppies. I love somebody reading the plot to 101 Dalmatians and being surprised by it. After the puppies are kidnapped. Th this is the most entertaining, entertaining thing that's happened today. Pongo and Anita rescue them along with 84 more, leaving the family with 101 Dalmatians. Yeah. Can you imagine, that's a stupid dog. It's, yeah. uh, they're not a smart and dog. And they're actually mean. Roger you know, I wrote, know that people don't like it when you say that different breeds are meaner than other, but Dalmatians, they, they, got, a, they, they got a wild streak. Mm. My wife got bit on the butt by a Dalmatian. By a Dalmatian? She was, she was going to pick up a piece of furniture at this dude's house. This is back in North Carolina. And uh, it was one of those guys that kind of like lived down a dirt road and kind of had his own land and situation. And like she gets out of the car and a giant, not 101, just one, Dalmatians, comes running towards her, and she starts freaking out. The thing reaches out and just bites her on the butt. And then 
She still took the furniture and left <laughs> with it, though. Went right through her jeans. Oh. Hmm. I'm sorry that happened. And I was like, did you get a discount? Yeah, I thought you, when you heard about what happened, you called him on the phone and let him have it. I think I, I, I did call him and chew him out. I was like, dude, you're running a business where people come to your home to pick up the stuff you've made and you have a dog that attacks your customers? Didn't she have to go get treatment? Yeah, you had to like go get shots and stuff. Yeah, they should have. He should have paid for that. I was like, just like with I'm his gonna, life. I'm you gonna, should have killed him. I'm gonna. Should have gone over there and killed his. I'm dog gonna leave him. you a horrible Yelp review. <laughs> Beware of dog. Would be, the, would be the title of the review. I hate Dalmatians. I mean, at least pain in the ass would be a nice header. Right. Yeah. Uh, this guy's a, a pipe smoking, songwriting dog lover. That's pretty hot. I mean, except for the pipe smoking part. You don't know if he's smoking it. He might just be one of those guys. Chewing on it. He's a pipe chewer. Yeah, puts a pipe in his mouth, and that's the end of it. Uh, you could do that in cartoons back in the day. You won't see any dads smoking pipes anymore. That's my one complaint about Disney is that there's no smoking anymore. That's it. I'm just like, is this really going to make kids smoke? I think he, I think, and you know what? He, he, it's, I, I like where this is headed. You with me? Not really, but. Let's move on to James from Princess and the Frog. Princess and the Frog. I, rem I remember watching this with this you one. at the beach. When we set up the little projector, just me and projector. you on the beach. Just <laughs> me and you at the beach with the projector at night watching Princess and yeah, the Frog. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's not the bayou, but it'll do. It was just last week. <laughs> it's a link where it should remember all of these details. Uh, no, we watched it with our kids at, at the beach house because there was like a theater room. Was, I think it was just when it hit, hit DVD. So father, I remember this one. There's some voodoo in this. Or father some spooky, of spooky. Tiana from The Princess and the Frog, a hardworking man that works long hours to provide for his family with the dream of opening a restaurant that Tiana shares as well. Oh, okay. Restaurant tour. Mm. Sexy already. That's cool. That's cool. But, you, but the hours. Ooh. There's never any free time. Never you, any And you get time. home and you smell like food. He always did what he could to never show his fatigue. He was so tired. In front of his daughter. Unfortunately, he lost his life. He's not even alive anymore. Okay, that's not that's hot. That's not sexy. The deadness of it all kind of undermines the hotness. Uh, it, during World War I, uh, or as I used to say when I was a child, War War I. But Tiana carries his dream and work ethic along with her in pursuit of their collective goals. So we got This is not the dead version of him. This is the live version of him. Okay. I mean, physicality alone, he's much sexier than Roger. Uh, yeah, that's, that's true. He's not a smoker, which I mean, just, you know... Yep, you're right. And just to kind of be of the times, I'm saying that smoking is not sexy. That's all I you don't really do. believe it. Uh, and also, he's a restaurateur, so I think he just completely takes this. He's he pretty hot. He didn't have a restaurant, just just for clarification. That was just his dream. That's what he was working towards. But he's well, a dreamer. You know what? Even it's better. sexy to have a dream. It's <laughs> yeah. Even having a dream is sexier than the reality. Speaking of sexy, if you want to own our rent link sing vinyl. Line, no, we don't sing vinyl. How would you do that? Rhett and Link we sing Lionel though. vinyl. All right, it's your last chance to get that. You got to join Third Degree Quarterly, your annual plan by June 30th. In order to get that record over Look there, yeah, you can display you know it. it. MythicalSociety.com. It all comes down to this. Oh, okay. Musafa. Mufasa. <laughs> <laughs> it all comes down to Musafa. This is the father in The Lion King. Who also dies. Spoiler. I have uh, seen this. Uh, good movie, good movie, good movie. And isn't he voiced by originally Liam Neeson? <laughs> you talking about Nar you talking about the Narnia lion, <laughs> James Earl Jones? Yeah, so Liam Neeson. So he actually, it's it just got sexier for me because it went from Liam to James. Uh, it's a good voice, man. Or do you say James Earl? What does he do? When you refer when you refer J -E to James Earl Jones, you call J -E -J. Him James Earl. J E J J E J Judge. It's a sexy lion. Uh, feared and respected leader. Due to some lack of support of the outer edges of the kingdom and extreme jealousy of his brother Scar, he lost his life. Uh, serves as counsel to Simba from the stars. Oh, that's hot. When you can like you yeah. just be in the stars as he finds his way through growing up. Got that James Earl Jones voice. Of course, this guy's name is James. Oh, shoot. So that's, I don't know. I think this might come down to human versus animal at this point. You might just have to make that call, and just so as not to be weird. Yeah, let's just let's go with the human because. Uh, yeah, we don't want to get flagged. Yeah, um, we're going so with we're the human that, uh, We're saying that, but he he doesn't turn into a frog, does he? Because that is weird. 
Uh, no, he just, just dies. Because he's, he's the dad. The, the frog is the one that she's in love with. I mean, the hottest, the hottest, one, hottest Disney dad is the one from the Dragon movie that just came out. So, yeah, Ryu. Ryu. Ray. But according to the choices that we had, the hottest Disney dad, James, <laughs> from The Princess and the Frog, we recommend enjoying this movie on a beach with a projector, just you and your best friend in a bottle of champagne. <laughs> to get the Rhett and Link Sing Lionel vinyl release, join Third Degree Quarterly or Annual by June 30th. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details.